my friends in Scotland, Andrew, 2M0AIV, and Alex, MM7BDW. These are amateur radio operators who are operating on All Star in Scotland on the All Star Hub. We discussed how to get Zopier working on an All Star Hub. So here is the the IAX.com file, and I'm going to show you this one here. I've taken out my critical information, but this is a typical IAX file from ASL 1.01. Let's go in here and go down through it, and so. A very typical file for an all-star node. And anyway, if you want to get Zopia working, and here's where I would register my node. I took my name out. Anyway, at the very bottom, I mean, this is all stuff you don't want to change. And if you want to add yourself on this thing to use Zopier or some type of IAX application on your iPhone or on your Android phone, go to the very bottom of this thing. So I'm going to go to the bottom here. And uh, with my editor, I'm going to go to the bottom. Here is the, what's the top? Here we go. Here's the bottom. So I've typed in information for Alex and for uh, Andrew. So here's what Andrew could do. I'll make this font a little bigger. If I can, let's see, command plus, there we go, big font. So this is for Andrew, and Andrew could type in this stuff into the IAX file, and all he does is, this is a comment here, this semicolon is a comment. You can put your call there, 2M0AIV. Username is the same thing, 2M0AIV. And that username is what you type into Zopier to make it work. And then you see uh, your caller ID, that'll come through as your node calling uh, your, your, your all-star node. So you'll, it'll say 2M0AIV uh, connected to, and then you'll hear your node name. So put in whatever password you want in here. Right now it's called your secret password. And so to make this thing work with Zopier, on Zopier you would choose IAX, and you would log in with a username of 2M0AIV, and you put in a password of your secret password, but make sure you change this to something else. So you could change it to um, anything, like uh, I like cigars, anything you want. Now, the same thing for Alex. He can also put his account in down below here, just like Andrew. So Alex can be put down here as uh, mm 7 uh, did I get that right? MM7, that seems too long. MM7BDW, BDW, BDWV, take out the V, there we go. MM7BDW, use name the same way, and just like Alex's account, we'll have him the color ID like that. He can put in a secret password, um, a real secret one, like uh, Scotland's best all-star hub like that and so if you put in this username and this into um, into the Zopier app you will connect and you have to open up the port so there's a port we got to open on the uh, on the firewall and let me figure out that port it's an IAX port and we must open up IAX port and let's figure out what number that is IAX port is what trying to figure out the port name here and if you have a firewall yeah here it is so if you've got a firewall you want to you want to put this port in so anyway the port you'd want to open up and i can put a notation here as a comment i'll say the comment here is you want to open up in your firewall uh, this port and that's probably already open but you want to have this port open here this um 4569 to get back in with your Zopier application. Okay, guys, well, I uh, hope this was helpful to you, and I think you could get Zopier running here uh, fairly quickly now, and you'll find it a lot of fun. Uh, and I'll put up the next video on how to use Zopier. Okay, so look for one more video on Zopier. Best of luck from KB3W6 in San Jose, California.